Welcome to WebStyle Press. If you are new here, consider subscribing and hit bell icon. You may be already familiar with three common error codes or HTTP response status codes. 403, commonly known as forbidden or access denied. 404 error, commonly known as not found error. 500 commonly known as internal server error. These HTTP response status codes let you know if anything goes right or wrong. By default, when you see 404 error, a generic message of not found message is displayed by web browser. Similarly, different messages are displayed by web browsers for different responses from server. You can customize those messages to make them more informative and engaging. For example, you can create an HTML page for 404 not found error. Now, when server returns a not found response, it will redirect to your custom 404 error page with whatever page name you specify. You can do that in .htaccess file. .htaccess is a configuration file for use on web servers running with Apache web server software. .htaccess files provide a way to make configuration changes on a per directory basis. You can add .htaccess in any directory you want, directory or folder. You can specify commands in .htaccess file that server will obey. Commands in that htaccess, .htaccess file will affect on that directory and its children directories. Before we go into .htaccess even further, let me show you what type of HTTP response status codes do we have. We have HTTP response status codes in range of 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500. According to Mozilla, HTTP response status codes indicate whether a specific HTTP request has been successfully completed or not. Responses are grouped into five classes. So we have got informational responses from 100 to 199. And then we have got successful responses from 200 to 299. These are codes 200 and 299. These are codes, status codes. And we have got redirection responses from 300 to 399. And then client error status codes from 400 to 499. And then server error status codes from 500 to 599. And you can see informational responses are here 100, 101, 102, 103. And then you have got successful responses 200, OK. And then redirection messages 300 multiple choice, 301 moved permanently, 302 found and 307 temporary redirect, 308 permanent redirect, and then we have got client error responses, 400 bad request, 403 forbidden, and then 404 not found, and we have got server error responses, 500 internal server error. 502 bad gateway, 504 gateway timeout, 504 gateway timeout. These are HTTP response status codes. You can also read about these from Wikipedia. Informational responses are these. 100 series and then 200 series contains success responses 
300 series are about the redirection 400 series are client errors and then 500 series are server errors Now that we know what type of HTTP response status codes we have, let's see how these status codes work. How do web browsers respond to these status codes? And how can you customize .htaccess file to show custom pages against any type of HTTP response code? We will focus on 404 error that is not found page error and 403 error that is forbidden or access denied error we can simulate 404 http response by requesting any random page that is not present in our website like this this is 404 error page page not found and if you go to inspect and then network and I'm going to refresh the page, reload the page. And as you can see, in the network, this is status. And if you click at that, you will see the status code 404 not found. So 404 error originate from requesting a page that doesn't exist in your website. For example, I am typing random words here and I am requesting that page and as you can see 404 error this page obviously doesn't exist in my website okay so this is my website and then we have got a folder tests and inside tests I am trying to call this page so if the page doesn't exist I will see 404 error page not found this is server's response now let's make a file forbidden from our server by using .htaccess file this is a file that is in the tests folder and the file name is log.txt it doesn't contain anything and it is here and this is my cpanel cpanel based web hosting and as you can see I am in the tests folder and public underscore HTML is the root directory main directory of my website this is the folder tests inside it and we have got this log file inside it I can edit it let's type something this is just a log file save changes let's refresh and as you can see this is just a log file and this is log.txt so let's make this file forbidden how will we do that we will need .htaccess so where is this .htaccess file First make sure .htaccess file is there by displaying hidden files in directory. .htaccess is a system file and system files are usually hidden in server. If it's not present, you can create it. Like from here new file and you can type .htaccess and it will be created. But first make sure it's there or not go to settings and from here show hidden files dot files save and as you can see we have got a dot htaccess file here i had created it earlier if you have worked with wordpress wordpress installation has got dot htaccess already present in its root directory Remember, .htaccess works in only Apache based web servers. It works in all web hostings running with cPanel.
there are servers running on nginx it's not nginx it's n gin x n x nginx 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 is not designed to use dot .htxs files so keep that in mind also dot .htxs files slow down server if you define too many rules in it if you use cpanel for web hosting your server supports dot .htxs files dot .htxs file means you can talk to server you can give commands to server so let's give a command to server and tell it to deny access for a single file I have got this log.txt file in tests folder. Here is how we will use .htxs file to deny access to that file. .htxs edit. Files log.txt And then files order allow deny deny from all save changes so this is code some kind of code it is not HTML it is not some language it is the it is code it is command for dot .htxs specifically for specifically to use in dot .htxs file it we are disallowing we are making this file forbidden so save settings and now we were accessing this file here tests slash log dot txt let's refresh the page and as you can see now this is forbidden you do not have permission to access this resource additionally a 43 forbidden error was encountered while trying to use an error document to handle the request and we inspect this page and we go to network tab and I am going to reload this page again and as you can see this is status 403 click that you can see status code 403 forbidden right so we have seen 404 page not found error we have seen 403 forbidden error now we can see servers response on 404 and 403 errors let's create custom error pages for these two http response status codes the aim is to show our custom error pages instead of generic pages by a server first we will create those custom error pages and then we will apply redirect okay so this is 403 generic 403 forbidden error page and this is generic 404 page we want to show our own pages let's create those two pages here file not found not found dot html for 404 error create file and then file new file access denied dot html for our 403 forbidden error code create file so we've got these these two pages not dash found dot html and access dash denied dot html So this is the HTML and I'm using bootstrap div and 
that's one four of four error page not found sorry requested page was not found verb style press okay so this is our page This is our CPAN. This is not found HTML. Let's edit it. Paste it. Save changes. And error 403. Forbidden. Resource is not public. Okay, copy. Now this is our access denied page for 403. Paste, save changes. Now we have linked the errors to these pages. So we will edit the htxs file that is here. Here we will define rules. Error. Document. Now this is the com this is command. Four o three. Access dash. Denied dot html. And then. Error document four o four not dash found dot html save this is comment in dot Texas file I do not think these will work let's try so 404 and 403 so we will need slash and tests and tests here and let's see refresh refresh as you can see this is our custom page for 404 error generic error has gone 404 error, sorry requested page was not found, web style press. And here error 403, forbidden, sorry requested page was not public. And this was the log file. Now this log.txt file is restricted, forbidden. And this is our custom page that we created. And this is our custom page for 404 that we created. And we can request any random page again. And you can see again 404 page we can see the status in the network and refresh the page and you can see 404 here right 404 not found and here for the here let's inspect and see the network tab refresh the page see the status 403 forbidden here for uh, 403 forbidden status code So we have successfully created our custom error pages for two status codes 404 and 403 and we have displayed our custom error pages. We have specified rules in our .stxs file to load our custom error pages instead of generic error pages. So what is this? 
this slash is necessary this means this means that this access dash denied dot html is located at the root of domain this slash means domain root location of your domain that is something dot com but we know that we have got a tests folder and we have got our file inside it so that is why we need to specify slash our folder and then the file that should be loaded in case of 403 error keep that in mind use this slash and like this document a name if there is, if it's not in some specific folder if it's in some specific folder then use the folder's name so take care of this path and also you do not need to remember this you do not need to remember this you do not need to remember this these can be created these are available you will just search for these and you will find dot ht access codes online easily so you will wonder that there are many http response status codes but if you want to create more pages like these and you want to modify a status file and add these redirects there are tools for that there are tools to create commands like these like we have got this tool you can you can search for error page generator and you will find many so this is an error page generator and you've got this 301 move permanently 302 move temporarily 400 bad request 401 403 forbidden 403 page.html and 404 not found my 404 page.html just write the page name but keep slash here use slash here if the page is located in the root directory if it's inside some page then uh, in inside a folder then use folder name here just keep that in mind and then generate it and here that rule was just generated and here is another tool custom error pages code generator it will work similarly like previous tool so you can search for custom error page generators and you will find the tools to create code for your stxs file I hope you liked this video if i missed anything comment down below if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to receive updates join us on social media links are in the description below stay tuned for more updates i will see you in the next video